an uh, artist by the name of Alexander Calder. And Alexander Calder liked things that were light, airy, primary colors. Does anybody know what primary colors are? What's a primary color, sir? Primary colors, red. Another one? Uh, blue. And? Green. Nope. Wait, no. Um, uh, Go ahead. Yellow. There you go. Red, yellow. Red, yellow, blue are primary colors. Those are the colors that you cannot mix other colors to get those. However, every color is based off of those three. Okay? Believe it or not, if you mix all three of those colors, you get brown. Okay. So what he did, what he did is it, it, his art style is he loved to work with wire. And what we're actually going to do today is we are actually going to make a mobile that you guys will be able to hang in your house that will be bound. Now this is where it's going to be fun because not everybody's mobile will be balanced the same way as mine is. Mine happens to be somewhat in the middle. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little physics in with this too. Okay. So what I did is I grabbed a couple of Alexander Calder's pictures so that you guys can see some of the things he does. That's actually um, a famous comedian, Jimmy Durante, which is past most of our time. Who's he's passed away for many years, but that is a sculpture done out of the wire in 1928. Okay. What's used in this sculpture? Wire and glass. Wire and glass, that's it. Does that look like it's glass that he's cut or does it look like maybe he found it? Yeah, because it, it has the basic shape, but it's not necessarily in the exact size or maybe fortune as if it were a real person. I love this one. It's a giant fish. It looks easy. That's all pieces of trash, sea glass, that he found to make this. Um, this I've actually seen in a museum. It's probably about eight or ten feet across. And it's probably as tall as I am with all the appendages hanging off of it. And it's a very lightweight mobile. In other words, it actually moves in the museum. So as if it were wind chimes, wind catchers. He does do some still sculptures. It's kind of really fits today. <laughs> I'm just trying to basically show you a few things that he's done so that you guys have an idea. Okay. Let's go over a couple things that we saw in this. What materials did he use when he made his artwork? Give me one item that you saw up there. Sam. Wire. Wire, okay. Give me another item you saw. Glass. Glass, another one. Um. And it could be a descriptive item. In other words, you don't know whether it's paint or it's marker, things like that. A what? Okay, drawing Um What colors did he focus on when he did all of these? Yes. Primary colors and what? Black. Black. Okay. Do these lines look like they were very delicate and that they were done with not necessarily precision, but like done like calligraphy or something like that. No, does it look like he had fun when he did it? Yes. When I do that scribble on your page, do you think I have fun going around scribbling on everybody's page? Yeah. I have 
probably be fun doing that because it's a line that has no care whatsoever. While he used lines that when put together make something, if you look at some of his other works, they're just very simple and they offer patterns. So what we're going to do today is, we're going to make a wire sculpture today. Okay. I need everybody to take your, your sketch paper, put your name on it, just so you know who it is. Yes, I would love it. Uh, everybody gets one of these. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that one. Yep. Two of these for everybody. Two of those. Yep. I'll have somebody else help. Um. Let's see. You guys are receiving wire. Be very careful. One of those. Excuse me. Eighteen ninety-eight. July twenty-second. Yes, he passed away November 11, 1976. He was an American sculptor that was best known as the originator of the movie. He liked to do kinetic sculpture. He liked to do items that were delicately balanced, which is what we're going to do today. So I would put down your wire because you want your wire to maintain its straight. You also should have three pieces of paper, red, yellow, blue, a pair of scissors, and somebody is coming around with um, one short, you can cut in half. Don't use the stickers yet. Um, you should have four pieces of wire total. You should have one long, stiff one. One very flexible skinny one, and then two smaller ones. It's hard to get just one. <laughs> Is that just one? Uh, raise your hand if you don't have two of the shorter ones. Check what you have and make sure you have two short ones. Okay. When Alexander Calder did his work, he worked in two different, um, I don't know if you want to, act, want to call them styles or if I want to call them feel. If I showed you this piece of paper right here, would you tell me that this piece of paper, based on its shape alone, would be hard or soft? Based on its shape alone, what's the shape of it? Hard. Hard. Why is it hard? Points. Okay. If I had a piece of paper, that was like this. Okay. Forget that it's a piece of paper. Look at it as a shape alone. Would you say this is a hard shape or a soft shape? Soft. soft. Why is it soft? Does it doesn't have any points. So when we do this project today, I'm going to ask you for hard shapes, and I'm going to ask you for soft shapes. Now, this whole project is done as a mind. In other words, I'm not going to talk. You have to watch what I do and then mimic. And what I'll do is I'll put my hands up when I'm done with what the, what the step is that I'm done with. And then you guys will copy. And when you're done, you'll put your hands up. Okay? Out of these three colors, pick one and hold it up. <laughs>
It's okay if you don't have the glue. It doesn't matter. All three pieces of paper are going to be folded the same way. Pieces. However, 
it's okay to take chunks out of the fold. And I'm going to show you what I mean. The first shape we're going to do, you can either do one hard or one soft. Do not do a combination though. So I'm going to do a soft one. Anybody notice what I'm doing with my scissors? Am I moving my scissors? No. no. What am I moving? The paper. The paper. the paper. the paper. That's the best way to get just funky shapes is just move your paper as your scissors are cut. That's my soft shape. Does that look soft? Yeah. Okay. Decide whether you want to do a harder soft shape and do it for one of your small triangles. Do you remember what I said? You don't have to lose your scissors. Can you see me moving this? Let me try. Put your hand on the scissors. Okay. Let's get it right in here. Okay. Don't move your scissors. Just going to start cutting. And nope, don't move your scissors. We're going to move the paper. I'll move the paper and cut that. Remember, I like my I like my paper. Can you do that? Can you make it look like it looks like a bowl head? That's what I have. That is so cool. You might want to cut it out. Yeah. Harder for me to do it that way. Or if you did the first one in hard, you'll do the second. 
here when it's soft. Let me caution you. See where that fold is? Yes. Don't put it. You want to cut around the other two sides so that you keep that fold. If you want to take a few spots out of the fold, that's okay. But that's how you keep your shape together. Okay?
I'm going to put my thumb here. I want you to take the wire and pull it down. And I want you to wrap it back up. This is hard.
that has all yellow, one part that has all red, and one part that has all blue. If you want to mix it up, you can. <laughs> okay. Now, so I'm going to take, you should have five stickers total on your sheet. So I'm going to take another one of my stickers. I'm going to open up my second shape. I'm going to put my candy cane hook in the middle somewhat. And I'm going to try my hardest not to be able to see it from the other side. And I'm going to stick my sticker over my candy cane. So now I have a shape, uh, and now I have part of a mobile that looks like this. But it's sort of floppy, isn't it? But we're not going to keep it floppy, don't worry. Yep, that's exactly that. There is no upside down. There is no upside down. No, there isn't. I want you to go ahead and do both small. So that's four small pieces on two small wires. The reason why is because we're going to be willing to that one. And then he's fine. Oh no, he's fine. He's done. He's doing quite well. Yep. Oh, this one's a big one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Alright. So does everybody have There was a piece of wire down here, I just felt it. <laughs> so does everybody have two very strange looking dumbbells? No. Close it. 
itself so that it can't slide off. What you do is you take a little open spot and you twist it around the wires if you're making a curly cue. I can come around and touch that knee. Okay, let me just show you again so that you know. Okay, if this is my long wire, I have something hanging over here, and on the other side, I made a shepherd's crook. Okay, I'm going to take one of my small dumbbells, I'm going to slide it onto that hook. See how they're joined together? Like that? But I know that as soon as I let something go, this will slide right off. Because if it can slide on, it can slide off. So what you take is you take your wire and you twist it around. Almost like you're closing a bread container. If you guys do sandwich bread that has little twist ties on it. So it's almost like you're putting a twist tie on it to lock it into place. Yeah. Long as it gets there. Oh, so cool. Oh, 